Hi, I'm Lily, and today we're going to do an awesome, amazing Venom design. So this is one of my most popular designs uh, for grown men, older teenagers, and little boys. So males of all ages love this design. I'm starting off with Starblend's White, which is a powder, actually, pig pigment powder. And I'm using a lollipop blender is what it's called. To apply it so you just rub the lollipop blender onto the star blend and then you apply to the eye area I love star blends especially um, I'm in South Texas so it's very very hot weather and I love using it around the eye area especially because there's no water if a client does get sweaty they won't it won't run in their eye and star blend is very awesome for being sweat resistant so here we go, I'm creating the shape of Venom's eye. And Venom is an alien, so you can exaggerate all of his features. Here I'm using a round number four and Super Star Pink to create Venom's gum line. This too, I'm exaggerating out. I'm very fortunate with my model. He doesn't have any hair, so I'm using all that canvas to create this amazing design. So here I'm creating more of a gum area just to make it uh, very exaggerated. Now I'll be using a round number three with Diamond FX White. Here we're creating the teeth. Again, Venom is an alien creature. So we're gonna make his teeth also very exaggerated, very big and very, very sharp. Now you'll notice here that with Venom's teeth, I'm going slanted, I'm going kind of one direction and the other direction. He's, Venom's teeth are very, very, even have character of their own. So it's okay to go a little bit crazy with this creature. Now I also wanted to show everyone that you can still create this kind of a design on a male that has a beard. You just go as far as you can um, without, you know, touching, touching the facial hair. So here I'm using a round number four with Diamond FX Black and I'm outlining the eye area. Um, this is a very, uh, Venom is very organic, so I'm using kind of organic lines going in, coming out. Now remember that the top of this design is going to go out further than the bottom of his eye. And we have to remember that Venom is overtaking his host. So we are going to use uh, that black and just kind of overlap it and create a whole lot of movement here i'm adding dots and just very organic type um embellishment Now, of course, we need to outline the gum line as well as the teeth. Uh, 
in the inside of the gums, I'm also creating some like cavities um, to make it look like Venom's gums are just like totally stretched. Here I'm creating elongated teardrops. So I'm stretching them out and they're going in totally different directions because again, Venom is overtaking that host. So we've got to create his kind of, I'm not sure what you would call it, but his, um, his alien creature-like skin, I guess. So I'm actually pressing very lightly and at the end of that teardrop, I press a little bit harder to get that perfect drop. Now, if your client has hair, feel free to just use the neck area. Sometimes I'll go over the nose, under the chin. Adding some more dots and splatters. Now this design can be tedious, um, but once you do this design over and over, it will just become faster and faster for you. Now this is a pretty basic venom at this point. We've got the gums, the teeth, <clears throat> the eye, and he's definitely um, got that movement. So here you can actually stop if you would like, but I'm going to take it up just another notch and show you how much further you can go with this design. Here I'm using a uh, round number two and I'm using plum, superstar plum, sort of like a bruise color and I'm going within the gums here and there just to give it depth. Now I've got superstar yellow on a round number three I believe and I love doing this to any kind of monster creature teeth is just adding a line of yellow in the teeth to give it a little more dimension. Here I've got a round number four with Diamond Effects Metallic Blue. I adore this color. So I use this for Batmans and Venom especially, and I love how it makes the black pop. It just gives it that comic feel, and it just really takes your design to the next level. Here I'm using uh, round number three with Diamond FX White. I'm adding dots. Then I wipe my brush onto a towel and use the dry brush technique and just kind of go around the gum line as kind of a highlight. And I even go around the teeth. Now I already know that my black is dry here. So I'm just giving it, I'm wanting to give it a lot of movement. Now we're done with Venom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, I appreciate it. Um, you can find all these products at facepaintforumshop.com. Happy painting, you guys.